I've been watching a lot of videos regarding Halo's construction line, notably with Simon from The Domain and Brickman117. With the rise of Halo Infinite comes new sets that already seem to be getting a far better release than sets before. Yeah, the past few waves have not taken kindly to local stores. So many waves of mystery bags and heroes completely shafted while Pokemon get shoved in my face in the aisle. But we did get a few things going and with the resurgence, it's got me in the mood to review some of the sets. I have a lot of the older stuff, so we might dig into those. I'm still heavily focused on my Team Fan Page 101 channel, but I am trying to make time for other projects. With that out of the way, let's take a look at 2019's Halo Mega Constructs 10th Anniversary Warthog Run. Ah, the Warthog, such an iconic statement of the Halo series in general. Basically Bumblebee for Halo fans. Easily recognized with its fast and yet properly ethical design, equipped with anything of practical use on the bed, customizable to any mission, and there's a Puma joke here. This is the 10th anniversary of the very first Warthog release from the former Mega Bloks, so there's going to be a ton of resemblances and updates regarding construction, color, and specialized parts. But not only that, with the figures, it also honors the history of the Warthogs in between. The use of Master Chief and the Arbiter is a nod to the exclusive CE Warthog in black and gold, which also inspired the Halo 5 Attack Goshog. The Hunters in the set seem heavily based on EVA's Last Stand, with two matching figures in similar colors. That set also featured a beat-up Warthog. There's a lot to get through, but before all this, the set comes with a few bonus parts Mega Constructs threw in. The set comes with their version of a part separator, with a pin and axle on the sides to push them out. Although, with axles, you're gonna need a bit more than this. I'll give it credit, taking off the parts and pushing them out from the slider is oddly satisfying. And for parts to work with everyday objects, it comes with a paperclip. Not sure who uses paperclips anymore, but who complains about freebies? The set includes 410 base plates for each figure, an assault rifle, carbine, carbine, carburetor, and special to these anniversary sets, a golden weapon, that being the flamethrower. Specially designed and personalized for those who want to burn grunts and look fat boo doing so. Just $39.99 Canadian and we'll also throw in the rest of the set. Flame piece not included. Master Chief is molded as the typical Mark VI Halo Spartan design based on Halo 2 or 3. What the articulation you'd expect from these humanoid modern day figures. His suit underneath is black and the armor is a nice shiny metallic green that almost hints gold in certain lighting. Pfizer could certainly use a black trim to trace around the gold, but otherwise I'm mesmerized by the nice shiny armor. For a while since the new articulation was introduced, I felt they didn't get the colors right. I mean, the white figures just look like they had specks of dirt. Now, I think they got a handle on it. I noticed the shoulders are loose, but that's likely only the case on mine. Perfect with the assault rifle, but usually I keep it on the back because how can I say no to the flamethrower? It's dipped in 24 karat gold! Anyone remember when we hardly had any Master Chiefs? Now look how many we got. What's this? A grunt family having a wholesome picnic? My suitcase full of chiefs will put a stop to this. This early version of the Arbiter has the typical elite design pattern with the gray underneath the armor, skin color for the head, and what is this? Champagne gold for the armor? But isn't it silver? No, it's gold! Silver! Gold! Silver! Gold! If it's a problem, get the silver one. Otherwise, I don't care. Typical elite style articulation with the triple leg motion to take advantage of height over some of the other figures, but still be accepted to work along older sets. Some of the parts are reused from the bungee model, but the helmet is incredibly well done. The one shoulder armor does get in the way with the chest. I see no line work or major paint apps, but with the shiny gold color, I'm not complaining. Plus, he really works against the Master Chief figure. Let's get that back-to-back -back action shot. Oh, yeah! The set also includes two hunters, both in blue armor and using the newly articulated redesign introduced in the Wasp set. This is the first time I've gotten my hands on it, and while it sure does step up from its predecessor, it's hell to build. The ball joints needed to be attached and were supremely tight. I thought I was going to break it. Once it's done, it's incredibly intimidating, standing tall against the majority of your other figures. They really got the shape down. I mean, if we bring out the old figure, 
What were the arms? Keeps the tail parts on the back, and the shields have a touch of silver. My critiques, however, include the ball-jointed head that doesn't lift up, only rotates, and the knees that only bend so far, but hey, ball-joint feet. I like the torso with the Spartan-style armor chest that opens to expose the gross worms of James Gunn's film. So, here's the last figure in the set, it's a matching hunter. In fact, my compadre, I don't think you realize I didn't even swap it yet! That's right! I lied to you! Now for the crowning jewel of the set. What an evolution from the very first Warthog. Even throughout the years, you can see how far we've come. So many prominent specialized parts to bring home that Warthog energy, either since the beginning, introduced later, or replacing even the original parts. Glad the turret's not in the box anymore. Those armor plates on the backside, the turret, ammo belt, seats, hooks, and even the windscreen separate from the frame are all present in the evolution. Colors seem inspired by the original model, but we got the sexy pearl green and no stickers, which is an automatic 10 additional points. Even the wheels have been adapted with rims that plug right inside with a small piece as an adapter. Console is appropriately detailed to say the least. And check this out, the bumper isn't falling off at the touch of a Q-tip. Silver scratches exposing the metal, the nougat colored seats and gold ammo belt are a nice subtle addition to the vehicle. They certainly captured that very recognized shape of the car. And it sure is fun to drive around. Figures fit in the seat and one can man the turret. But what about the weapons? You can clip them on the side to keep them for storage. The golden piece can ride shotgun. But does it roll? Where we're going, we don't need safety precautions. Whee! Now I do have a few complaints other than the fact I can't fit a wraith in. I don't care for the suspension. It's just a soft rubber tube running through to both sides of the beams. There's hardly any bounce to it. There's no point in even having it. Maybe if you're slow, it slightly props it up, but it's not worth the effort. Funny, for that to be my biggest downgrade I consider for that set, it's a pretty fantastic model. Bring in the Chief, blast that Halo music, and is it 2007? Compared to my dirty old Warthog, and while it was fun for the time, there's a certain breath of life being brought into the set. Plus, the figure choice is wonderful. Two hunters, I mean, they did right with that itself. I guess the only reason why I'd see you'd skip this is if you got the Warthog Rally. I can't say it's an upgrade to this, except for the suspension. They look so similar that tracking this down might not be worth the effort. But then again, two hunters, and that's my argument. I don't blame them for releasing two Warthogs in similar colors back to back, considering one's an anniversary set and one's promoting a new game. It is a testament of the Warthog itself. It may see some changes over the years, but it will always be the Warthog, and I think this is one of the best Warthogs we've gotten. Wonderful figures, amazing build, great set, and arguably a good value. I'd say check it out, especially if you've got a grunt bowling alley set. <laughs>